walking into the Aprilia booth so this year on the bike segment only Aprilia and uh, Suzuki are there they are right next to each other we would go to the Suzuki booth next but now let's for now focus on the Aprilia so this is the Aprilia's SR160 I guess this is the upgrade to the SR150 let's take a look at the specs we have single cylinder 4 stroke 3 valve fuel injection BS660 We have Aprilia's 210 V4 1000RR So one of the higher capacity race motorcycles Kind of like a track focus naked So let's go into a little bit of into the specs That's a 65 degree V4 engine V4 four cylinder 4 stroke and uh, 1077 cc so you've got uh, air box over and dynamic air intake and 175 horsepower 121 newton meters of torque 6 speed gasket type gearbox aluminum frame and an 18.5 litre gear tank capacity that is the Aprilia Toro V4 not much on the updates more than the naked version but this is going to be tuned more towards uh, the tracks so the higher rpms the power will be available at a higher rpm whereas the naked version back there will have more usable power in the mid-range so another 18 and a half liters of gear tank capacity Aprilia's kind of like the street spec MotoGP bike now the only thing that they have added this year is the carbon fiber scoops much like the Ducati's V4R and well I really like the color scheme so suspension Aprilia has not made major changes to the RSV4 but they have been constantly updating the bike Red. Right. 
electric Vespa as well. So let's look at the SXR160. We will get to see if that futuristic looking scooter kind of like a touring scooter based on the same 160 platform of the SR160 and we've got a different design in SXR so this is more like your touring version and uh, This year they have closed up the booths. It's really starting to kind of deaden up the expo. Previously it used to be a lot uh, friendlier. Now they have kind of Indianized it. So I guess that's it from the Aprilia booth. From me. And I think also my final expo since they have kind of uh, brands have decided to move out of the auto expo and uh, if the biggest brands that you guys love to see aren't there then I guess it won't be much use for us and it has also become very uh, unprofessional kind of an environment from the Aprilia booth moving on to Suzuki the only other bike booth left we'll see what happens 